I just want you guys to see the propaganda, you know what I'm saying, that's going on with Will Smith and the propaganda that he's pushing, you know what I'm saying, because as you know, he's coming out with a memoir, actually it's this month, and I'm going to um, play this audio, I want you guys to hear, um, make sure you guys, um, um, this is fair use YouTube, fair use. from Will Smith's new memoir, Will, which comes out November 9th, and in it he talks about witnessing his father. Okay, Will Smith got a new memoir, comes out November 9th, so let's see, 11, 9, 11 represents foundation, 9 represents completion, and also represents energy, you know what I'm saying, so, and listen to the propaganda that he's pushing people. Listen to the propaganda, you know what I'm saying, that the, 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 the premise of why he's being interviewed by People Magazine is not only to promote his memoir, it's also to promote an, an agenda. So pay attention. This is fair use. Commit an act of violence. And he said, when I was nine years old, I watched my father punch my mother in the side of the head so hard that she collapsed. Hmm. Hear that? So his memoir comes out November 9th, that's 11 9. And now here it is when he was nine years old, he watched his father punch his mother. Um, let me tell you something, people. And to all of you people out there, you know what I'm saying, who have because this agenda is to push to demonize the man, you know what I'm saying, and to lift up the woman. Now, I understand that black women, you know what I'm saying, were stuck to raise their children and be the father and the mother. But you got to look at the situation that the black man is in. Look at the environment that the black man was raised in. In. Look at the agenda and the odds that is against the black man. You know what I'm saying? When the system is all for the black woman and give the black woman benefits and give the black woman, you know what I'm saying, all sorts of advantages and all sorts of incentives. And the black man got to get it through the mud. He got the stress. He have sex with a woman. Now the woman put him on child support. So now it's stuck in between a rock and a hard place. You know what I'm saying? And if he don't pay that child support, his license is going to get revoked. So now he won't be able to drive to work to even to pay his child support. Not only that, it's, it's a whole lot of other things that is against the black man. And this whole thing, because come on, let's keep it real. Who... What agenda is Will Smith for? You know what I'm saying? That same agenda. You know, the, the, the red, the yellow, the pink, you know, the colorful gang. That's what Will Smith, you know what I'm saying, is for. He's against the masculine, heterosexual black man. So, you know what I'm saying, that's what it's all about. And, and let me tell you something. Nine times, I say, you look in the whole through the black neighborhood. Almost every black family experienced some sorts of domestic violence. That's all a part of being, uh, you know what I'm saying, in poverty. That's all a part of being, you know what I'm saying, in the conditions that we are in, that we was forced into. You know what I'm saying? That's all a part of that. That's all a part of the struggle. You understand? You know what I'm saying? Because the woman, back then, the woman was what? Like the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter, um, Isaiah chapter, was it, um, what is it? Oh, man. Three, Isaiah chapter three, verse 16. Because the daughters of Zion are haunty. Read the book of Isaiah chapter three, verse 16. Our black women are are that what the most high God say they are. And being that our black women are like that, that's what we got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? So you just got the, and another reason, you know what I'm saying? The black man is drove to drinking because of what? Because of the stress that he's against. 
he's not the black woman is not only against him, but the whole system is against the black man. Now I'm not promoting any man put his hands on a female. I'm not promoting that. But read the book of Isaiah chapter 316. How the most high God said the black women are. And when you are around a woman like that, either you have no choice but to leave or to go upside her head. Now, I'm not promoting hitting women at all. So I say it like this. If you have to put your hands on a woman, the best thing to do is leave. But if you leave, that's exactly what the system wanted you to do was leave. That's what the system wanted you to do. That's what the system designed the black male to do. Is to have a child and leave. So that now they can blame everything on the black man. Oh, the black man is left. The black man is this. Now, I'm not promoting any black man put his hands on a female. But the black women has to get in their own proper place as a black female and don't play out what the Most High God say the black female is. Isaiah chapter 3.16. Read Isaiah chapter 3.16 before you pass judgment on what I say, people. Please read that. Please read Isaiah chapter 3.16 before you pass judgment on anything that I'm telling you. And then you will understand. Let me go ahead and press play. This is fair use. I saw her spit blood. That moment in that bedroom, probably more than any other moment in my life, has defined who I am. And so he goes on to say, uh, within everything that I've done since then, the awards and accolades, the spotlights and attention, the characters and the laughs, there has been a subtle string of apologies to my mother for my inaction that day, for failing her in the moment, for failing to stand up to my father. Apologies to your mother. You should have made an apologies to your father. And you should have asked your mother... Why did she choose that type of man? You understand? Because see, Lord, Lord, Lord. Number one, we are, we are, we grown up. We are, especially back then, we was grown up in a, a society where everything is against the man anyway. And the woman is it was was given all incentives to be over the man, to go against the man. It was always like it was brought up like that. The system made it like that. So to apologize to your mother, no. Apologize to your father. And ask your father. You don't know say. Ask your father, why did he do it? Don't hate your father. Sit your father down. Ask your father, why did you do it? Father, why did you leave us? Father, why did you do this? Father, why did you do that? Ask your father and, and see what answer you get. I bet you it'll be different. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, you know what I'm saying? You'll get your right for answer. See, we are too busy listening to our mama. You know what I'm saying? Ma, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, daddy hit mama. Now, I'm not, in, like I said, I'm not encouraging no man to hit no female. But we need answers. You children get answers. Instead of taking only your mother's side, get your father's side. Ask your father, sit your father down and have a man on man conversation. Or if you are female, have a woman on man conversation and ask your father the questions you want to ask your father and see what answers you get. But anyway, but this is no time to be, you know what I'm saying, giving a woman woman power. 
Because the woman got to be submissive. You know what I'm saying? The woman got to listen to the man. That's what a woman's job is to do. Listen to the man. Be submissive. Do the, the duties of a woman. That's what the woman is supposed to do. Now, if the woman choose, you know what I'm saying? If the woman choose a, a thug, if the woman choose a game banger, if the woman choose a drug dealer, then A, that's the choice that the woman chose. Anyway, let me go ahead and press play. For being a coward. So he said that oh, his parents Lord. separated when he was a teen and divorced in 2000. He does maintain a close relationship with his father, but he says that his anger stemming from his childhood incident surfaced again decades later. While he was caring for Will Sr., who had cancer, he said one night as I delicately wheeled him from his bedroom toward the bathroom, a darkness arose within me. The path between the two rooms goes past the top of the stairs. As a child, I always told myself that I would one day avenge my mother, that when I was big enough, when I was strong enough, when I was no longer a coward, I would slay him. And he actually entertained the thought of killing his father. He said, I paused at the top of the stairs. I could shove him down and easily get away with it. I can totally understand why that trauma would make him want to... No, look, so, and this is every, this is almost every black man, you know what I'm saying? The animosity every black man have towards a father. Why? Because they only heard their mama's side. They only heard the mama's side. You have never sat down and actually had a decent conversation with your father on why the situation happened. Whatever situation you guys are in. You never had a de decent conversation. Because you was always accusing your father. Ac oh, father, you did this, you did that. Sit down and talk to your father. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to do. We got to sit down, we got to talk to our father and get an understanding. You know what I'm saying? Don't just hear one side. Hear both sides. But you know, mothers today, they too busy say, Oh, your father wasn't shit. Your father was a piece of shit. Your father was this. Your father was that. But never hearing the father's side. And you can't take no advice from Will Smith anyway. Will Smith liked men. So in all of Will Smith liked men. So therefore, Will Smith wants to be a female. So Will Smith is going to hate a masculine man. And Will Smith is going to hate a man that stands up in his rightful authority. Will Smith is going to hate that. Just the, rest, just the same way the rest of the world is going to hate that. But anyway. Something like that. Like when you know, something happens to the, the, the person that loves you the the most unconditionally on this planet is your mom, so I, I, I can understand it. Now, another thing he talks about in his book, here's another excerpt. Uh, he talks about being married in the first few months of his marriage with a brand new baby. So what you saying, Charlemagne? The father don't love their children unconditionally neither? You see how everything is pointed to be against the father? So what you saying, Charlemagne? The father is, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 against the um, that the father is set up against. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, is is um, what, whatever. And uh, for his wife, Cherie, he said, I can imagine his experience was unsettling, and he fell in love with his co-star, Stalker Channing, during filming for Six Degrees of Separation. He said, his marriage was off to a rocky start. He said, after filming on the movie Wrapped, I found myself desperately yearning to see and speak to Stocker. So he talks about uh, that experience actually caused him to quit method acting. His character was in love with her character, and he actually fell in love with her. Um, that is some method acting right there. And a great excuse. <laughs> an amazing excuse if ever you fall short. All right, now Lauren London. Okay, so that's going to wrap that up. So, and I bet you a lot of people going to go out and get this... Get this um, memoir and read this memoir and be influenced to hate their father according to this memoir. Gonna be influenced to kill their father according to this memoir. But if you just sit down and you don't have a decent conversation with your father.
sit down and have a decent conversation with your father. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? You be honest and let your father be honest. Because, because most of the time, you know what I'm saying? The reason why the father left, most of the time, it was because of your mother. You know what I'm saying? I say about, you know what I'm saying? I say about 40% of the time, maybe, maybe 45% of the time, the reason why your father left your mother, it was because of your mother. You understand? And the other percent of the time, the reason why the father left the mother is because of the poor choices in men that your mother chose. Your mother chose a, had a poor choice in men, which what which in return, you know what I'm saying, caused the man to leave because that man's mind wasn't on your mother. You you got a lot of women that, you know what I'm saying, uh, lay with men just because they got money or just because they got, you know what I'm saying, they look good or they talk good or they got good sideburns and, you know what I'm saying, they talk a good game. So a lot of women choose those type of men when those men wasn't no good in the beginning. So, 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 uh, so instead of blaming the man, blame the woman. You can't, if, if, you know what I'm saying? If, if you got a snake and, you know what I'm saying, you make that snake your pet and that snake bites you, you cannot blame the snake. That snake is still a snake. But anyway, this is news. Yeah, I know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bells if you're new to this uh, channel. You know what I'm saying? I mean, turn on your notification bells. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. Don't forget, people, um, if you want to donate to this ministry, the donation link, the PayPal link is in the description box below. Um, I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.